Everyone, how are we doing today? Good. All right. Well, I'm Brian Cutler, and today I'm going to be talking about perceived autonomy support, personal goal content, and emotional well-being among elite athletes, mediating effects of reasons for goal. All right, some things I want to cover are the summary of the article, the authors, some key points of the article, and some strengths and weaknesses. All right, the summary of the article. This article was about what reasons you should have on setting your goal and which goals you should set so that you have higher success and lead to a positive emotional well-being. Now, this chart kind of describes how the article was written. Model A is the reasons you should set your goal. Model B are the ways you shouldn't. The ways you should are perceived autonomy support, intrinsic goal content, and autonomous reasons, which are going to lead to higher success, and personal um, positive emotional well-being. And the way you should avoid is extrinsic goal content with controlled reasons, because they're not going to be as effective and will lead to negative emotional well-being. And I know we're all positive people in this room, and we don't want to be downers, so we want to stick with model A. Now, in other words, this means you want to have some support when setting your goal. You want to set your goal because of interest, but you also want to take an active role when setting your goal, which is going to lead to more success and a positive emotional well-being. While you want to avoid setting goals for fame and fortune, while also having someone else set your goal and you not being involved in this process, which is going to lead to less success and a negative emotional well-being. Now, there are two authors for this article, Paul Zoyberg and Paul Geer, Paul Berry? My bad if I mispronounced the names. Not, yeah. So they both worked at the Norwegian School of Sports Science, but Hellberry worked at the Buskaroo University College, so they have experience working in this field. This isn't the only article they've written. They've also written an article called Training Strategies to Improve Muscular Power. Is Olympic-style weightlifting relevant? So this isn't the only article they've written. They have experience. This gives them a little credibility, so they know what they're talking about. All right, the first key point I want to go over is know the reason as to why you're setting the goal. There are right reasons and there are wrong reasons. The right reasons are self-improvement, enjoy because you enjoy it, and because of interest. And the wrong reasons are for money and fame. Now, the reason why you want to stick away from money and fame is because the motivation doesn't last as long. If I was to already have money and fame, I no longer would want to set a goal for that because I already have it. So that's why you want to stick with joy because of interest and for self-improvement because if you enjoy something, you're going to want to keep doing it. That's motivation. And there's always room for self-improvement so you can always get better and set goals for that. Second key point is content of goals. Now, I didn't know goals had content, but they do. There are two types intrinsic content values and extrinsic content values. The intrinsic content values are personal goal, friendship, and social contribution, while the extrinsic content values are financial success, popularity, and physical appearance.